Hello, my friends. It's my joy to visit with you again today. I want to share a little devotion with you, and it has a simple message. I want to remind you to never give up. Paul wrote this in 2 Corinthians 2, chapter 4, verses 16 and 17. That is why we never give up. Though our bodies are dying, our spirits are being renewed every day. For our present troubles are small and won't last very long. Yet they produce for us a glory that vastly outweighs them and will last forever. Now, I don't know how many of you know it, but I really enjoy planting flowers and gardening. I get such a great joy out of preparing the soil, planting the seeds, and watching them grow, and enjoying the blooms and the vegetables that are produced. Every season, I marvel at what will grow from the tiniest of seeds. Since we moved to Marysville, I've added to my amazement that from the tiniest of acorns grows a mighty oak tree. Before living here, I never fully appreciated how amazing that is. Many, many of the acorns never get a chance to grow as they're simply a part of the food chain. There are so many squirrels in the forest just coming after those acorns and, and burying them in the ground, and the deer love them too. But for the few that do survive, the ones that never are found in the ground, eventually they push their way out of the earth, and they begin their journey to becoming the next mighty oak tree. Paul reminds us that God's faithful. You and I never give up especially when times get difficult. And I think this is important for two reasons. One, in the midst of these present difficulties, this verse calls us not to give up, but to press on. And you know what? I need to hear this. We all need to hear this. We need to be reminded that the best thing we can do right now is to keep pressing forward, knowing that God is still in control and that he'll give us the strength new each morning. He'll give us the strength we need for each day. And so we simply need to remind ourselves today, don't quit, but press on. And secondly, this is important because, you know, by not quitting, we can encourage others by our example. They may even ask how we can stay so strong with all the craziness around us. And you know, when they ask that question, it gives you and I a chance to share our faith, faith with others. But on an even simpler level, there are people watching you and I every day. And as we successfully fight our way through these difficulties, it will encourage others by letting them know, well, if he can do it, if she can do it, I can do it too. You know, my friends, with Christ as our help, God is already redeeming this time. He's making our faith stronger. He's teaching us through, he's teaching us and increasing our perseverance. And he's showing us that with his help, we can do far more than we ever thought possible. So, my friends, let's learn something from seeds and acorns. As they begin their journey buried in the soil, fighting their way out of their encasings, pushing up through the soil, you know what? There's no quit in their DNA. And it's amazing to see how God takes that fight and transforms that little acorn into a mighty oak tree. In the same way, as you and I are going through these present difficulties, remember this. God is with us. God is for us. And God will provide all we need to see us through these times. Remember Paul's words to the Galatians when he wrote, let us not become weary in doing good, for at the proper time we will reap a harvest if we do not give up. I close today with one last promise, and it happens to be my favorite verse, but I think it really applies to today's lesson. And it simply says, I can do all things through him who strengthens me. As we rely on his strength, as we remember Paul's words, we are encouraged not to give up and to press on. 
Let's do so, my friends. Amen. Now, several announcements about Wesley Church and some things that are going on. Uh, Wesley, as I've been telling you about, uh, co had committed to filling the mobile mission van in cooperation with Do Over Ministries. We're collecting things like coats, sleeping bags, thermal underwear, flashlights, batteries, hats, gloves, backpacks. And the date for that collection has been moved back uh, for some van repairs to be made. Um, now, that date uh, for distribution is January 20th. So you have your last chance to get things into us uh, no later than Tuesday, January 19th, so we can deliver them to folks that need them. Uh, Wesley Preschool has announced uh, that they're doing a new fundraiser this year. It's called What a Croc, and it provides an easy, no-hassle crock pot, croc pot meal delivered right to your door. Complete information on the fundraiser can be found in the weekly bulletin announcements and on the Wesley Preschool Facebook page. Your purchases support preschool service, services and programs for their year. I know you'll find something delicious for dinner there. The uh, January, February issue of the Upper Room and offering envelopes are available in the church lobby. Please stop by and pick them up if you haven't already done so. And of course, uh, we're not having in-person services yet, so we continue to live stream our worship service every Sunday morning at 9 o'clock on both Facebook and YouTube. Let me close our time with a word of prayer. Let us pray. Loving God, strengthen and encourage us today to meet these difficult times. Give us the courage and the will not to give up. And with your help, we know we can press on. We ask all of this in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, my friends, thank you for visiting with me today. We'll talk again soon. And may the peace of God be with you. Stay strong and stay safe.